But first, according to the National Center on Criminal Justice and Disability, people who have an intellectual or a developmental disability like autism are seven times more likely to have an encounter with law enforcement and are also twice as likely to be then victims of a violent crime. And some departments require training programs and many first responders complete them voluntarily on their own. But training is not required by any Ohio law. Tanisha Cordell live this morning from Cleveland Clinic with a new program working to bridge that gap. And this is a good one, Tanisha. It really is and so, so, so needed. It's interesting, this outreach program really just started out as a first time, one time only event. Now the organizers are expanding, taking it a step further in order to provide more opportunities to build those positive relationships between police officers and those with autism. Twice a month, students ages 5 to 22 meet here. The Cleveland Clinic's Learner School for Autism. They need us. They need us. The chartered non-public school giving these students the resources and confidence to overcome their personal battles. So many of our kids, you know, fear something new, fear something that's different. The school staff aware of that fear. When we're training to deal with them, we're training to deal with them when they're in crisis. The fear often felt in a crisis involving police. Police officers frequently come when is, there is an emergency situation and some of our kids may not understand those things. It's why they're now bringing officers into the classroom, part of a new program so new it doesn't even have a name. They are looking forward to having us and we're looking forward to going. So I think that's what surprised me the most. Those officers spending time and having fun with the students, teaching them about safety, how to ask for help, and how to identify different officers. We have to trained to engage, interact, and embrace as well. The officers learning as well. We have some kiddos who communicate with, you know, in who are nonverbal or communicate with gestures or with a speech generating device. And so the officers have, have been able to just have them ex have experiences communicating with our kids in those different ways. The experience is so vital for both sides. This school's team hopes other local communities take on similar programs, making it part of officer training, a way to help those with autism or the underserved community, as some would say, thrive no matter the real life circumstances they encounter. They've made a lasting impact on us. They're a sensitive community, but they're a loving community. And having the ability to interact with them, no matter what part of the spectrum that they're on, is a lovely thing. All right, now Corporal Drayton, the officer you just heard from, she's not messing around. She says she's already met with all five Cleveland police districts to talk about how to get more officers involved in this program. She hopes it all happens once more COVID restrictions are lifted. I'm Tanisha Cordell, News 5. Yeah, good stuff.